Welcome to the Pitching in Northern Premier League goal show for the midweek games. First up, Aston United sit third in the MPL table after winning by the odd goal in five against Matlock Town. James Hardy and Jason Gilchrist fired Ashton into a 2-0 lead by half-time. In Ryan Cresswell's first game in charge at Matlock, Benny Unlove scored the first goal of the new regime to give his side hope early in the second half. But Darius Osai's 64th minute goal enabled Ashton breathing space and they held on to win despite Curtis Jerome's making it 3-2, 21 minutes from time. Maxfield maintained their unbeaten start to the season in front of 1,600 fans away at FC United. Damani Mella got the league leaders in front inside two minutes against managerless FC, who equalised on the hour mark through Adam Lafondre. John Rooney's second goal of the season made it seven wins from nine in the league for Robbie Savage's men. Yeah! Baseford United scored three for the second successive away game on the road at Gainsborough Trinity. This time, unlike Saturday in the FA Cup at Workshop, it ended in victory as Joe Avage's goal got them on their way after just seven minutes. He added a second on 38, and by half-time it was 3-0, thanks to Tyler Dacra, making it a comfortable night's work for Baseford. There was a six-goal thriller at Nethermore as Geisley twice came from behind to draw against Morpeth Town. Chat room on here tonight. I think there's a few people excited. Well, this might be an exciting moment for Reese Evans. He pulls it across. It's a brilliant ball in, and it is a lead. It's a goal scored by Foal. The cross ball in. Like he's saying his brother's called Blessings as well. I love, oh, I love, love these it. names. Absolutely yeah. love it. Better from Geisley. Needs a good cross in. Gets it. Long bottom equaliser. The hottest man in town. Boy, can he right score. Down the right there by Odinston. He's got us a good, uh, good throw in in a good position. He's a strong runner on the ball. Now Farrell. He's strong as well and he does well. And this is better from Geisley and a good ball in here. Long bottom. Guess who's there? Guess who's on the end of it? And guess who's heading you? Geisley in front. Well, he's uh, back with the back eight. The body language is completely different, isn't it? Everyone looks keen. Yeah. So much more movement off the ball as well, as you say, people people want it and they want to get in a space to be chosen. Oh, but then a terrible giveaway and there's an opportunity here for Al, but Lawler will be there. Stretches those... Oh, it still breaks the foil. He get the shot through and Foal has equalised. I thought that Lawler was going to deny him, but that's just... the usual sort of signal that they do. And then ballooned it to the far side. The header back in is dangerous, though. Met by Odinston's head. Still a chance here for Morpeth on the attack, very much so. Cross ball in, kept away by Lawler. Thumping shot, what a goal! What an absolute screamer of a goal here. Okay, he's got to hit it long. He knows yeah. that time is running out. It's a high spinning delivery. Lawler's got up for it. And a scramble into the net. Guys, we have got their equaliser. The arm is raised. I think it may have been Pulisic got the last touch right on the goal line. 
Whitby Town ended a five-game losing streak in some style, hitting six away at High Fly and Hebburn Town. A lively opening saw both teams on the score sheet within the first 15 minutes or so. Ollie Martin putting Hebburn in front before Adam Gell's equaliser two minutes later. A red card for Paul Zandlia didn't initially hinder the home side who took the lead on 41 minutes through Bailey Adamson. But Jake Charles' equaliser on the stroke of half time appeared to swing the pendulum in Whitby's favour and they didn't look back. Charles added his second to put Whitby in front for the first time on 57 minutes. <laughs> Campbell Darcy, Stephen Walker and Joseph Wheatley added the other three goals for Whitby, who had only scored nine goals in their previous nine matches, but managed six on one memorable night in the North East. Worksop Town continued to plunder in the goals with a 4-0 thumping of Mickle over their latest win. Daniel Bramall got them on their way to a fourth win on the road this season and they are yet to concede a goal on their travels in the league. Luke Hall gave them a cushion four minutes into the second half. Then Bramall's second was followed by Jacob Gratton's fourth on the night, which take Worksop's goal tally to an eye-watering 26 in nine league matches this season as they keep the pressure up on Macclesfield at the top. Lancaster City preserved the only other unbeaten record in the league away at Prescott Cables, although they had to make do with a sixth draw in nine games. Nathan Kohler fired Cables into a first-half lead before they had Finley Crossadair sent off. Aaron Bennett made sure Lancaster made the numerical advantage pay to secure a one-all draw in the 84th minute. Workington are winless in four after they went down 2-1 at home to Bamba Bridge. The visitors took a two-goal lead in the first half thanks to goals from Lucas Weaver and Jeff Adubafor. David Simmonson pulled the goal back 16 minutes from time, but it wasn't enough to rescue the Reds from defeat. <laughs> 